Uh, this video is on making a histogram. So I have a Excel sheet up here and I want to make a histogram based on, let's say, the profit. So I'll click on that cell or that column and then I'll do insert and then I'll come over here to this bar chart area where it says insert statistic chart. Click on the pull down and choose this one right here on the left. That's where your histogram is made. So when I choose on that, I get a histogram made up and at this point it does the histogram based on what it feels how many bars you want which are called bins and uh, how wide these uh, these charts go like for example and this uh, bar particular one right here this third bar it there are 108 uh, profit values that are within these values of 32.45 to 101.45 now this may be more bars than you want or less, and you can change that by right mouse clicking on the axis down here. Right mouse click on the axis, and then format the axis. Click on format the axis. So now you have an area where you can choose the bin width or just the plain old number of bins. So let's say uh, currently there's 13 bins. Let's click on those bins, and let's say instead of being 13 bins, that I want to have, let's say, uh, 10 bins. So I can click on that and hit enter, and now I have 10 bins. Now one thing else you might want to do is see these numbers better. And the reason you can't see them so well is because there's so many decimal points after. So if you click on number here, then what we can do is, let me move the picture out of the way. Uh, I can go down here and I can make sure the category is on number. And I can show the amount of decimal points. And I don't really care about all those decimal points. I'm just going to make it zero and uh, hit enter. And so now that cleaned it up really nice that I can see the amount of charts. If you, uh, well, I can read what's on the axis really nice now. So when I click on this, uh, I can see, well, here's my first bin goes from negative 106 up to negative 18. In other words, they lost money right here. And uh, we can see how that goes. See, we can see each one and we can see how many there are. Uh, let's do it one more time. Let's click on the right mouse click on the axis, format the axis. And if you uh, don't want a particular number of bins, you could choose to format the bin width. So right now the bin width is 87. Well, maybe you might want to make the bin width a nice even uh, 100. So I'll say 100. And now this one goes from negative 106 to negative 6. Here's negative 6 to 94. Now if you want all the negative ones together, you could set the bin width to be, since, since it goes down to negative 106, I'll set the bin width to be 106. Let's see if this will work. So if I set the bin width to be 106 and hit enter, now I see how many negative profits I have. And just holding it right here, we can see that there are 9 times that the profit was negative on here. And then here's how many are from 0 to 106, 106 to 212, and so on. Now this data is what's called skewed right, because what's going on is in terms of being a normal distribution, which would be uh, peaked in the middle, okay, a normal distribution, uh, this is not. Uh, this has, I I these extremely high values are pulling the uh, mean the average to the right so the median might be down here somewhere but the median would be higher than that now I can get the mean and median easily enough to show you what I'm talking about so let's do this a second I'll do equals average double click on it and I'm doing dealing with the profit so I'll just click on that column so here's my average or mean right here I'll do mean and then right below it let's get the median so over here, I'll do equals median, double click on median, and I want to get the same column, the profit, and close parentheses, and there's my median. And so my mean is up here about 184, so that's uh, in this area, whereas my median is 145. Well, that's down in this area. Now, why is the mean higher than the median? Because these high values pulled the average up high. It's just like if you had a small amount of values, let's say uh, uh, 1, 2, 10, 
in uh, 20 and 100. Well, this 100 is going to pull the mean up higher. If I get the average of these cells, that's 26.6. .6. But the median is the middle score when ranked lowest to highest, and they are ranked lowest to highest, so the median would just be 10. So equals, I'll prove that to you, equals median of those same values is 10. And why is the mean higher than the median? Because of this 100 here just pulled the average up. If we had a more uh, non-extreme value, let's say we had a 25 here, now the mean and the median are very close to each other. So a way to find out if your data is skewed right or left is to see if your your median is is very if your mean is very far to the right or left. If your mean is very far to the right of the median, then it's skewed right. There must be extremely high values. If the mean is extremely less than your median, then there must be extremely small values in there that's pulling your average down. Um, this one. There's no extreme values, so they're both very close. This one, the mean is extremely high compared to the median, and so you, this is skewed right, not a normal uh, data right here, skewed right. So anyway, this is how you make your uh, histogram. And again, to edit it, to show more or fewer uh, uh, bins here, you right mouse click and format the axis and choose the bin width or the number of bins. Again. Uh, you can do one or the other. If we want, let's say, five bins, I'll do that one, and there's your data. And almost any way you do it, it looks skewed right on that. So I'll stop that video right there.